Hogiti, St. Andrew, Anger Juvianut, Kogluktumi. Welcome to our service this morning from St. Andrew's Church in Kogluktuk. Kobe Hoktunga Inuit Okautimanga, Okakotik Gadim Iglavangungauta. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Put Iohai to Tin, Naglitak to Titlo, over good. Up cutting in, hungry not back to good, im nightun, Ulu now him a yutun, my lip by lapkuta, Pitko hip ting nick, Puyuma tip ting nick low, Puyuin not hogged, Pitko tin nagoyun. Ahin over good, Piyakta ting nick, Ping it to good. Pigaffing in that ting nigly, Pigalo up to good, na go you make. Picanging napta, o my tip ting me. Ilvedly, artenek, nagly get tigood. Honeke to rapta, an outed luget, 
O God, Tamaita, Kapia Hok Pata, Hani Okaria Tivahapkin, Inuit, Jesus Christ Tikun, Arta Niptigun, Ikayuk Tigun, Angutik Put, Jesus Piblugo, Uvagut Talvanganin, Inuhiki Kubluta, Ilu Moktamik, Nayo Miklo, Atkin Alionaptok, Piblugo. O God, Inuit Anautivarapkin, Jesus Christ Tikun, Uvogod Wanakifarapta Ilvin, Ihumagun Elvigiluta, Ikayuktigut, O God, Nagovadliala Kubluta, Inu Hiptingni Talvanganin, Jesus Peblogo, Apakigiptigin. Amen. Atangum Kangauta. Angul tikput, kilang mi tutin, at kin nagogiaule, at angofin kaili, ihumatin tamariudli nunami kilang mi tutun, uglumi nakehap tingnik ay doktigut, wana kutip tingnik ihumagunia glutin, uvagot tau ihumalok tigifigap tigin, wana kiyilahut. Oktok tau nekmon, hevud lak tai luta. Tupilag min anau tiktigun. Ilvin piyutiki gapkin. Atangovik hakogin nak. Kama neklo nungolai tamon tai munga. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Atene anivod aitachin. Taima koyagnea hiptigin. Atene kilamaluten anautiktigot. Atene ikayuktigot tajainak. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. First, Jaman. Nakata four, now night could seven, seven me sixteen. A two tipta kulani one forty six. John Titera took Ilan Narietka, who will, who will could take you up to the who will could garden high down. Inu Pigumi, who will, who will took, who will took. Kumik kitun na riya o hima yokarin ilima bluk ni tapumina. Inukle kubet kubet kutun mit pingit kumita kumina ilima ngit piak juga dokar. Kat kubet kutaman kat kubet kutamin uwak tingi. Takuk kay waktu imatu. Chili Vaglugo and Nakdoni Nunam Uvagut Inu Chuti Kakakuta Muna. Kubia put Unawiok Uvagut Kubia Mikadua Chilugu Kar. Tapuminga Kubia Kubia Giga Mitigo Chili Vaga and Nihuina Kuta Kubluta. Tahumuna. Ilan Narayetka in my tumic garden, who will ring much good over Gupta, who will he put up here what you are to hold. Inuit Ila Takuit Patun Takuit Takuit Patun Gardmit over good lay, who will put Gilagupta garden. Naku Naku Dat Naku Dati Hobiat Kutali. 
Takuma na makilat tok ilutin mo. Ubagot inyo tutigap tigo ka tam na inyo lak tok ilutin ni nao na kone takuma tunigap tigo anang nao ni ni ahi taku takuyap tingnik unyu ti na tugut alat karim ang nak Yang nak tak cum yang ini jadi bagus mago. Namun anda cukup logo ini pitut di logo. Jesus yang nak yang ini jauh memang mat karim tak minga kena lekat unyu cepat karim inu inu hati dia tam natau inu lek tok kadim ni ubak uli ubak tingnik ilihimal ilihimai ugut upek kota kadim kubia ging mati ugut kad kubia kutau yok kena lekat inu inu gumi kubia tak kubia kutiha tu mi tak kuma Inu hati dia gad atau atau cukup kadim inu hati dia lu inu hati dia lihat dah kadim bawa kita. Kuana Marjorie, One John, Chapter Four, reading from verse seven. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. We know that we live in him and he in us, because he has given us of his Holy Spirit. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Anna Colin. It is so good to be with you all again, as we have said on the begin many of the beginning of these online church services, Roslind and myself feel very much a part of the community of Kugluktuk. Of course, it would be better to be with you in person, but this is still a way of being able to worship with you and to join in Christian fellowship. And we want you to know that we pray for you, we miss you, and we love you all in the Lord Jesus Christ. God loves even me. For the last two weeks we have been learning about the amazing love of God from 1 John chapter 3. I began two weeks ago by encouraging you to remember that we are loved by God. And I think that's amazing, that we are loved by God all the time. And when we face many challenges for being a Christian, we don't quit. Even when we, we fall and we sin, if we come to God and say, God, I have sinned and I ask your forgiveness. He assures us that he does forgive us. We read that in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9. We don't quit. Just as Jesus didn't quit when he faced the challenge of going to the cross. Now last week we learned that there is no love like the love of God and his love makes the world a better place. And indeed, if people would open their lives to the Lord Jesus, they would know how wonderful the love of God is and that his love does indeed make the world, make the communities where we live into much better places. And yet it has to be said that many people find it very difficult to believe or to accept the fact that God does love them. Even though many people believe in God, they still find it very difficult to believe that God can and does love them. I'm going to tell you a story, and it's a true story about a man called Charlie a person that Rosalind and I knew many, many, many years ago. I thought about Charlie uh, while reading the Daily Bread Notes on Wednesday morning of this week. Charlie and his brother were the victims of a father who encouraged his two sons to drink alcohol. Unfortunately, both Charlie and Neil became terrible alcoholics, resulting in them living on the streets in a large English city. Charlie and his brother would come to the church centre where I worked. They came for food, for clean clothing and for somewhere to sleep. I got to know Charlie quite well and we became friends. We talked about many things, but we also talked about the Lord. I would tell Charlie that God loved him and that God, through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, could change his life. But it was very difficult for him to accept that God could love him because his life was so messed up. Like Malcolm, of whom we read about in the Daily Bread Notes, Charlie felt unloved, even though he was always pleased to have me talk to him about the Lord Jesus. There is no doubt about it that Charlie wanted his life to change. But tragically, a little while after we had become friends, Charlie was found dead in a derelict house in the city where I lived and worked. Did he come to know the love of God in his life? I don't know. But this I do know, 
that God loved him. How different to the story of Malcolm, who was eventually able to say that God loved him despite a miserable home life as a young person. Malcolm came to know and accept that he was loved by God and that he was one of God's children. We read in 1 John chapter 3 verse 1, how great is the love the Father has lavished, poured on us, that we should be called children of God. Oh yes, God is love. In the reading this morning from 1 John chapter 4 and verse 16, God is love. I know that to be true and I know that many of you listening this morning know it to be true. John's letter mentions the love of God several times. You can look up the references for yourselves in chapter 2 verse 5, in verse 10 and verse 15, in chapter 3 verses 10 to 11, chapter 3 verse 14 in verse 16 and verse 23, and also in the passage that was read this morning, in chapter 4, verses 7 to 24, though we only read to verse 16. And so why did John repeat the word love so many times? Well, there are many answers to that question, but here are just a few for you to think about. First of all, we can know that we are saved from our sin, that we are forgiven. In verse 10 of chapter 4 we read, This is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his Son as a sacrifice for our sins. God loved us. God loved us before we even knew him. Two, when we commit our lives to Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes to live in us. Chapter 4 verse 13, we know that we live, belong in him and he in us because he has given to us his Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And we need the Holy Spirit every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if we are to really know and to walk with the Lord Jesus. Three, as we learn more about the Lord Jesus, following his ways, our love becomes more and more like the love of Jesus. Now, we don't become perfect like Jesus, but we live without any fear in our lives. We do not have to be fearful when Jesus comes again or when we go to be with him. Listen to these words from chapter 4, verse 17 and 18. In this way, love is made complete among us so that we will have confidence on the day of judgment when Jesus comes again because in the world we are like him there is no fear in love but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with, with punishment the one who fears is not made perfect in love perfect love the love of Jesus takes all fear from our lives and then, number four, when we know that we are loved by God through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus wants us to witness to our friends and neighbours by how much, by how we live and how we love each other. From chapter four, Verses 11 and 12. Dear friends, 
Since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. When we give our lives to Jesus, it's a whole new beginning. It's a whole new way of life. And we are filled with his love by the Holy Spirit. And then he, the Lord Jesus, wants us to tell, wants us to witness, wants us to live out our faith and trust in him amongst our families and amongst our friends, that the love of Jesus will shine brightly from us. I hope that these words from the Bible convince you that God is love and that he does love you. God loved Neil, who had difficulty in accepting the fact because he lived such a sad and miserable life. This was so different from Malcolm, whom we read about in the Daily Bread Notes, who came to understand and was able to accept that God really loved him. Now you may be thinking, as I talk to you, you might be thinking like this, well, I'm listening to your words, but I'm not really worth loving. Let me assure you, let me tell you that you are worth loving. And as we read in chapter 4 and verse 9, God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son so that we might have eternal life with him. And in the book of Romans that Paul wrote, chapter 5 and verse 8, but God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinning. God loves you. And I plead with you, I pray for you, to open your life to Jesus and to experience how wonderful his love is. It's great love. It's amazing love. It's life transforming. It's life changing love. A very learned Christian Bible teacher was once asked this question. What was the most heartfelt thought that you ever had? And he replied, Jesus loves me. And then the person said, but sir, you are such a brilliant Bible scholar. What is the most heartfelt thought you ever had? And with a smile on his face, this man said, Jesus loves me. And the third and last time, the person who asked the question of this great biblical scholar, he said, but sir, there has to be something else, something that's deeply heartfelt in your life. What is it? And this man, with a smile on his face, he said, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. And to these words, Jesus loves me, I say a big Amen. This was just like Malcolm, who we did read about in the Daily Bread Notes, when he realised that God loved him unconditionally and nothing could ever change that in Malcolm's life, in my life, in your life, if you know God's love through the Lord Jesus Christ. Unconditional. Unconditional love means that God loves and accepts you just as you are. But as we know, he doesn't want to leave you as you are. He wants to change and transform your life into something beautiful for him. 
and for everyone else to see. When I became a Christian many years ago, I learned very slowly how amazing is the love of God. Eventually, I was able to say that God loved even me, a love so amazing that I could not keep it to myself. Why? Because God's love has to be given away. God's love has to be shared. I had to become a person through whom God's love flowed, not only through the words I speak, but also through how I live my Christian life. And so, have you discovered how much God loves you? If so, is the amazing love of God shining through your life, helping and encouraging someone else to discover the amazing truth that we read about over and over again in this first letter of John, that God is love. Oh, may you know in your heart, in your mind, in your whole life, that God loves even you. He loves you. May you know God's love being poured into your life through his Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh Lord Jesus, I pray, I plead for people to open their lives to you and to experience your life-changing, your life-transforming love in their lives. A love that has been made available to us because your Son, our Saviour, died on the cross for us. Amen. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Nunamiklo. 
Jesus Christ mut lo anuit tangunun ateniptinun. Anendikun nagoyukun napraktayuk wilgahugmin merimin eniakubluni naglihat tutoyuk Pontius Pilate min. Kikiak tuktayuk lo tukubluni ilovat tayuk lo napatikak vingmun ad kakuni. Oblok pingahwani makiktok tukungayunin kilangun mayoktok ikivabluni gadim angumi ayokhaitum talakpiani. Tatpanga tiki humomiuk inoyon tukungayutlo oktokaya tukublubit. Okpek tunga anengimun nagoyimun. Ilitach yung alo, ang gajovig miyunik, nagukti daw mata, okpakatigig tudlo, at ayaw lang mata, wanakinit ikumakayaw yun yung mata. Tukong gayon, timay makiktaw kung u mata, okpeg lung alo, inohang mik, nung galay tumik. Amen. At ang gom ilagi lohi, Ilingin yuk. Kenga Atenek nagligit tigot. Christ nagligit tigot. Atenek nagligit tigot. Kenga gluta. Kulani 33. Audlak himayun piblugit. O God atanyo yutin nunami kilangmilo Munakila yutin inungnik nanigigalawak tiglugit tadya kengaut yevot tamaita audlachima yun audlachima blutik nunakun tagyu kudlunin tingmiak kudlunin ilvin munagilugit tamakunakit nangyanaktunin tamainin tiking nakkublugit nagoyumik Tiking ya guto ming nun. Amen. Inuit hamaning yut piblogit. O God, kilang mi tutin, kangagalug min, ukagivigiyak, ukagivigivak kapkin inuit, ukpegokok tun, ukagivikin inuit, nunap ting ni tun, tadya nayok paglogit lo. Minihitavut, Nakuk tikin tamangmik na goyumik. Ikayuk hema kublugit inukitingnik. Utek tiglugit ilingnon ilangit ilam naupata. Aniak hema yun nagrip kaglugit. Ihumaluk tudlo. Ihumalukwak tudlugit. Huli tapka akugit tun. Upagiamingnik. Uktok hema lugit pitkoyangnik. Quigo kung nagit. Elo, O God, ikayukti gud ta mapta, inuhigi kublu ta ilvin, aneng neglo na goyo eng nidlo, anga juvigi akon atautikon. Amen. O God, our Father, we pray especially for people who are travelling in this summer time. We pray for safety as they travel by boat, fishing and hunting, going to their camps, being on the land. We pray for everybody's safety and that as people travel, they will know your presence with them. We pray, Lord Jesus, for the community of Kugloktuk. Oh, how we pray for a wonderful wonderful outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon that place well, that many many people would come to know of your life of your love through committing giving themselves to you of knowing the power and the joy and the peace through knowing you as their Lord and Saviour oh Lord Jesus we pray for your blessing upon all the people who live in Kogluktuk, for all who work to make the community a better and a wonderful place 
in which to live and to work. To be a community where there is the love of Jesus in people's homes as well as in people's lives. Oh, we pray, Lord Jesus, for your Holy Spirit to be shed abroad into every home, into every life in Kugluktuk today. And we pray, Lord Jesus, for those who are sick, for those who need to know the touch of your Holy Spirit upon their lives, to know that in their pain, in their difficult days, they can be comforted through knowing that you are with them. We pray for your healing presence, your healing touch upon the life of every person who is sick. We thank you for the ministry of the nurses and the doctors. We ask for your blessing and protection upon them. Lord Jesus, we know that we can give all our cares to you because you care for us. We know that we can be still and quiet and know that you are God and that you loved us so much that you gave your only Son, our Saviour, the Lord Jesus, to die on the cross for us. And so, Lord Jesus, as the sun does shine for long hours and these summer days, may we always know the sunshine, the brilliance and the power of your amazing love in our lives. In your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. We're going to sing a song this morning that perhaps is not familiar to you. It's called How Deep the Father's Love for Us. And we see how deep God the Father's love is for us as he sent Jesus to live, to work, to die on a cross for us and to rise again for our salvation when we accept him as our Lord and Saviour. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure.
Gadim Nogokutata Aktili Night Tagalawak Munagilukito Matihi Ihumahilo Jesus Sili Himaningagun Koviakoto Gudlo Gadim Ayokhaitum Angutipta Aningata Anangnim Nagoyum Nago Tiptininga Ilikfingni Himali Taimunga Amen and the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.